This plant is Olea Little Ollie. It's a Little Ollie Olive. And uh, it's a shrub. It's, uh, this plant's been here for four or five years, I'd say. It's about six, six and a half feet tall by about six feet wide. Um, and it's being used a lot nowadays, in the, especially in the commercial landscape architects um, realm as a mass planting shrub. And it's nice for that. It gets the gray foliage that you see for olives and a nice dense form for a shrub that uh, this probably hasn't been pruned little, if at all, and it naturally occurs uh, the way you see it. So it's easily kept at three to four feet tall and um, it again has this nice foliage. Probably your first question is, is does it produce any fruit? Yes, I've seen fruit on this plant before, uh, but, but very little. And if you've got a, um, if you've got a small area and this is pruned the way you see, or not pruned, I should say, where it's got foliage right down to the ground, then uh, the odd piece of fruit really isn't a problem because the fruit uh, falls under the plant and just becomes, uh, goes back to nature. So um, what I like about it, like most olives, is they're very drought tolerant once established. These are um, kind of, for me, used the same way as an Arctostaphylos Howard McMinn. Similar size, uh, similar conditions, likes it dry, can handle more water but really doesn't need it or, or uh, prefer it. Um, this soil right here is very dry and rocky and this plant's very happy as you can see. Um, deer will eat uh, olives, um, just to kind of throw the deer thing in there. Sometimes they leave them alone, but I wouldn't call this uh, a deer tolerant plant for sure. I'd say you, you could probably get lucky with it if you don't have a big problem with them, but I've tried, uh, I've had uh, Swan Hill olive trees get eaten uh, by deer in the past, so I would just say don't, don't presume that you can get away with, with that on this. Um, Low water, as I said, and then compact form. So in design, this for me is a great kind of tall screen along a fence if I want to soften or, or hide a fence. It's also a barrier plant and um, also the, a background plant where you're going to do layering and have this in, in the background. And uh, just very flexible and uh, low maintenance because of its nice compact form you just don't need to do much with this to keep it looking as good as you see here so that is what i can tell you about olea little ollie once established little or no water and um very cold hardy as well as most olives are um, i'm not sure about the low temps but uh easily down to 20 degrees and that is olea little ollie